weekend is a huge weekend in college hockey, but even more so, tomorrow afternoon at Matthews Arena will be what some people are calling the game of the century because these gentlemen here, the 1980 U.S. Olympic hockey team, you guys are getting back together again for the first time in 15 years. This is Mark Johnson to my immediate left and Rob McClanahan next to him. First of all, Mark, Finally, you guys are back together as a unit. It must be great to see each other again, huh? Oh, it's a lot of fun. It's uh, It's been an enjoyable weekend up to this point. Uh, for a lot of us, uh, it's a real opportunity to see guys you haven't seen for six, seven, eight years. And uh, I'm looking forward to the game tomorrow afternoon, too. Rob, you've been away from uh, certainly this area for quite a while. That team, that 1980 hockey team, because of guys like Mike Ruzioni and Jim Craig and Dave Silk, it really personifies what Boston hockey is all about. What about for you? You played at Minnesota. There were a lot of Minnesota guys as well on that team. Well, I think that was the last team where we had more Minnesotans than uh, the guys from Boston or Massachusetts. And uh, it's the last team that won a medal, so maybe that says something about Minnesota. <laughs> maybe they're making a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> now, Herb Brooks was the, the head coach of that team. He was a Minnesota guy. You played at Wisconsin, but your dad, Bob Johnson, Badger Bob, a Wisconsin guy, true, tried and true. What were his, his feelings about you playing for that Olympic team? That must have been a thrill for him as well. Well, there was a lot, a lot of concern, I think, on a lot of people's mind, but uh, my relationship was, with her was, uh, was a real solid one. Uh, he was able to put me with a couple good players and uh, gave me an opportunity to showcase myself, and uh, I had no problems at all. Obviously, there was a lot of uh, concern between uh, him and my father and the, what the, the rivalry Minnesota-Wisconsin has uh, in the Midwest, but uh, Herb, uh, from day one, was very good to me. He played me, gave him an opportunity to play a lot, and uh, it was a real solid relationship. There was no problems at any time during the whole year. Rob, that team and that year and that, that medal, obviously at the time it was a phenomenal experience for you. Did you have any idea that even 15 years later, not only will we say that that's the last Olympic gold medal that was won by the hockey team, but that's really the highlight almost of, of Winter Olympic and Olympic competition in America? I, I think it just goes to show you that the accomplishment or the feat we, we accomplished is just how monumental it really was. And you know, I often say we could play the Russians 99 times or 100 times and lose 99 of them. And it wouldn't be that close. So, I mean, we're in the right place at the right time, and, and we've got the gold, and that's, that's the best thing. Mark, around these parts, when we talk about Mike Ruzioni and Dave Silk and Jim Craig, they're synonymous with that team. The same thing probably applies for you. Now, you say you're coaching high school hockey back in Wisconsin. Tell me about that. Well, it's been real fun. I enjoy going to the rink. I like working with uh, young kids. Uh, uh, I had a very long... Uh, very successful hockey career and it's just real neat for me to uh, now put my things that I learned a lot of the knowledge and the experiences that I had over a long time uh, back into some young players and watch them improve and it's been a real enjoyable year for me my high school team that I've worked with and I look forward to hopefully next year get a full time coaching job. Trivia time everybody knows who scored the winning goal against the Russians Mike Ruzioni guess who scored Mike Ruzioni over there but guess who scored the winning goal against Finland that was you Rob. He wouldn't be that famous if I hadn't gotten lucky and scored a winner against Finland. So, you know, I get half of his proceeds. That's part of the deal I cut with him. Well, Mike has that sort of a cottage industry on that one goal. But being a silver medal team would have been different. It's actually you the one who should be getting most of the pub. Well, I tell you, in terms of the medal and what we expected, we talked about that before the games even started. And I think, I think most of us would have said we were fortunate if we could have even gotten a bronze medal. That was our objective, was to first qualify for the medal round and then get a medal itself. Nobody thought a goal. Rob, Mark, thank you very much for being here. Tomorrow afternoon at Matthews Arena, there are still tickets available. If you want to see these guys lace them up again, and they want that, from what I hear, they're not going to pass Mike Ruzioni no, the puck. Those two guys are going to be my wingers. <laughs> uh, they're in the best shape of everybody. I'm going to play left wing with Robbie and, Ma and Magic. He says he's going to be on the wing with you guys. That's right. <laughs> He's going to be the back checker. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can't get up ice anymore. Something tells me that Mike Ruzioni is going to score the winning goal tomorrow against <laughs> the uh, the oldies, black and goldies, the Boston Bruins team. As I said, there are still tickets available, so go pick them up if you want to see some great hockey.